Man of God is what them looking for. Man of God is who I am. Man of God, who I am. You see, because I'm walking through the land with the Bible in my hand to teach the truth to man and woman from Staten Island to Long Island to Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. I come here with the scripture of me strong. Yo, man of God is what them asking for. Man of God, here I am. <laughs> Greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty, the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Wherefore God has highly exalted Him and given Him a name that is above every name, that at the name Jesus every knee should bow. In heaven, in earth, and under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory and praise of the Father. And I said He reign. And you know I'm not ashamed to profess, proclaim, down the avenue, the boulevard, the street, the lane, on the main, in the bus, in the car, and on the train, and even when we fly on the plane, that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is the same. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, forever, still healing the sick, the deaf, the dumb, the blind, raise the dead, turn water into wine, and heal the lame. I'm here again with upliftment, encouragement, edutainment to stir your nest, to wake you out your lethargy, your apathy, your mediocrity, your indifference. So you can be blessed. Anyway, I want to say something about right and wrong. Right way and a wrong way of doing things. Now, taken from Proverbs, as a matter of fact, Proverbs a day. <laughs> Keep the foolishness and the wickedness and the poverty away. That's what the book of Proverbs is about. But I will be taking from Proverbs 16, verse 25. It says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. Think about it. Think about it now. There's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. Let me find that scripture for you. You understand now that um, there's a right and wrong way. And I'm going to give you some common sense every day living elevated where it's relevant now mankind as a whole it doesn't matter religion christian muslim buddha confucius it doesn't matter what these religious name calling all it is you're a man god almighty said let us made man genesis 1 verse 26 27 let us made man 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 food clothes and shelter now how do you get your food your clothes your shelter right way to get it wrong way the wrong way is to go rob somebody, connive, violate yourself, violate other people is wrong. The right way to get your food, clothes and shelter is get a job. Make your money. You don't have to rob and sell drugs and kill people. That's the right way. Now, another thing, food, clothes and shelter, right? Now, you have a wife. Oh, no, before I even say that. What about... We have, let me go back this way. We have needs. We have food, clothes, and shelter, right? We'll mention that. Sex drive. It's a drive. It's a drive for want to know God. It is. It is a drive. So I'm going to use these as example. What's the right way to have sex? Do you, a 40-year-old man, see a young 12-year-old girl and want to have sex with her? Is that a right way? And not only that, you rape her. Just run up on her and grab her by the hand and say, come on here. I want to have sex with you. She said, get off of me. Is that the right way? So there is a wrong way. You see that? That's my point. There's a wrong and a right way. Now watch the right way. You met a young lady. She's, a, she's your equal. About the same age. Group. You talk. For whatever for a whole length of time. You come to a place of agreement. And then what? You talk about being married. Now you have sex. That's the right way. That's the right way. Now, let's go further with this relationship. You want to have children. You want to agree. Then suppose you want to have, you know, sexually right now. I'm going to be a little bit more up close. Because people are crazy. You want to have sex in the anus. You think any baby is going to happen? Really? No. Wrong way. See, there is a right and a wrong way to do things. Who is it to determine it's right or wrong? Nature. 
nature will not give you what you're asking for. <laughs> so it has to be wrong. Okay? Has to be wrong. There are some things that there is nature and your five senses are telling you. But also we have instruction to confirm. Now, what about coming to God? There is a right and a wrong way to come to God. And this is the area of life that I'm dealing with people from home to work to church. You meet these people have the craziest idea of coming. Oh, all these religions out here. Oh, oh, they're all seeking for God. Yeah. But are they all coming the way God has ordered? God Almighty is a king. And when he says his word, his word is law. And when he decree a thing, he expect his people to come to him the way he has ordered it. You just come, just can't come in generality, in any, any way. Well, you do your thing, I do my thing, and hey, listen, who is you to tell me I'm right or wrong? The one who you're going to, he has a way how he has made an order for you to come. So now, talk about God. How do we come to God? Huh? Do you go get a, get a piece of gold, a piece of wood, stick and bow down to it and call it a God? People do it, you know. They get a bird or eagle and, say, and worship the eagle and say, that's a God. That's my God. It's in the Bible. We found them. Religious people worship stones and bricks and walls and, and even demons and devils. They have dreams, dream up stuff and take drugs and they, they enter into some demonic realm and they come back and tell you, oh, this is the way he looks. Excuse the glasses. You hear me? So, it's a right and a wrong way. Okay, so I would say Proverbs, I'm going to read it, Proverbs 16, verse 25. All right, I think I, I said it to you before. There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You can go to God any way you want to, but that's you. That's your doing. That's not what God wants. Cain and Abel. Abel learned from Adam and Eve what had happened. And he brought a sacrifice to God according to God's order. Cain didn't do it. He went his way. And he got rejected. And then he got mad and killed his brother. And that's what happening even today. Jesus says, John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father God but by me. John chapter 10, read from 1 all the way to 10. He says, I am the doorway. Doorway means there is a kingdom there is a mansion there is a house with a door an almighty god seated on the throne and he's calling man doesn't care who you are what religion what denomination he said come to me this medium video is doing just that calling you to come to him but I'm giving you the way he has ordered to come. Now you can ignore it. That's your choice. Or you can accept it. It's your choice. It's just instruction you're getting. Jesus is the way. All the other religion. They're trying. Seeking God. Nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is the way you're going about it. There is a right and a wrong way of doing things. There is. There can't, there's no way you're going to play a football game using basketball rules. NFL is not going to like that. No way you're going to play baseball and try to use the football rules. Hmm? Come on. Let's, go, let's come to your house. You are your house. You have a party in your house. You put out your flyer, you advertise, you made an invitation, and you have certain description and orders of how you want things to be done everybody must have this wedding garment on that comes to my wedding if you don't come with this garment on you're none of mine you were never invited so they came 
and you walk up in one of the room and you see a gentleman over there have not the garment you provide with the invitation. <laughs> this is literally a proverb in the Bible that says that. Jesus said that. He says, what do, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? How did you come in here? He was speechless. This says the Bible says he was speechless. And the king ordered his, 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 his servants, get him out of here. Throw him out. And they say he throw him out into outer darkness. There shall be a weeping and wailing of gnashing of teeth. Let me tell you, Almighty God ordered Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And there is no other way to come to God Almighty, the Father. And this must be by faith. In Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6 says, but without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that comes to God, comes to God, comes to God, must, M-U-S-T, not maybe, not might, not if I feel like, must, must believe, must believe, must believe that he is. And he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So when you come, brother, I'm letting you know there is an order how you play and you come by God's way. So if you have a way that seems right, you better double check to make sure that way that you have is God's way. Because if it's not God's way, there's a whole lot of people are heading right down to hell. Oh yeah, I know I'm not a hell preaching guy, but I'll tell you we all are going down somewhere. Nobody's at a standstill. From the day you were born, you didn't stuck at one year old. 20 years ago, you're now 20. 30 years ago, you're now 30. 40 years ago, you're now 40. So you're moving. And some little gray hair is coming up on your beard. So you're getting old, sucker. So I tell you, you're going to breathe your last, close your eyes, and you're going to pass from this time, space, matter, and enter in a rim that is invisible, called the eternity. And the question is, where are you going to live? With the Father or away from Him? And in this time is where you buy your ticket. Not with money, but with the decision, your free will you have that He has given you, because you within your own right is God. Now, no one can impose on you anything without your consent. But Almighty God reserve the right. This is you are his creation to preach the gospel. And after preaching the gospel, he said it's appointed for man once to die and then the judgment. What you going to do? You're going to stand around as a big man arguing, debating about who and what religion is right. Or you're going to study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So all scripture of God is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for correction. This is correction. Correcting your junk, your bunk. You need to straighten out your mind and cut the junk. This is drill sergeant time, brother. It's a lot of pussyfooting around and junk talking. And you're going around trying to think, Yo, oh, oh, that man is right and that man is right. You know, they're all seeking God. And yeah, you just can't say God is not going to, he's going to reject them. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me anybody just going to run up in your house? And you're going to just accept them in your house? You don't have no order. You don't have no concept, no principle set. A bum just run off the street and just run up in your house, in your party, in your club, in your wedding that you set and you have order. Eh? You, you think God is an idiot? See, the, the mindset of some of us people is embarrassing. Grow up. I did a video just a few days ago in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, speak as a child, understood as a child, thought as a child. I become a man. I put away childish things. And those things, it wasn't talking about external. It was an internal operation. You're thinking, I can't see it. Your thoughts, I can't see it until you open your big mouth and you let everything out. Then you tell me where you are. But you're judging me. I, I'm judging you based on what you said. Jesus says, make righteous judgment. Judge them by their character, not by external, whether you're religion or you're male or female or your ethnicity. It has nothing to do with that. What you said. 
I'm judging you based on the fruits comes out of your mouth. Jesus says, not what goes in the man's mouth that defiles a man is what comes out of his mouth. Brother, listen and learn and take instruction. Go back and study and make it clear and plain as day. What do you want? Is Jesus the only way to the Father? Find it. Find it there. But what about them other books? I'm not concerned about those other books. I already checked them long ago when I started the journey. Before I make a decision, I check them all out. What I found out, time and date. After 600 years, Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection at the cross, he prophesied there will be false religion, false prophet. Many will come in my name. Go over there and read in Matthew chapter 24 and 25. Many will come in my name, said I'm Christ. And you know what? They did. One of those religion that succeed all the false religion top dog is the Muslim religion. Man, you know what they did to, to, to succeed them? They had to copy out this Bible and put it in their book. <laughs> so that's where the scripture says lies will be so close to the truth that if it was possible, even the elect would be deceived. You hear me, family. Wake up. Cut the crap. Cut the junk. This is a perilous time we're into, a dangerous and risky time. Every turn, every whim of doctrine are coming through. Now we have cellular phone with all different kind of, uh, of, of, of site, with, uh, with um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. And they are coming with the junk on the bunk to deceive you, to trick you and induce you into agreeing with them and then reduce you to nothing even your government is doing it tyrants totalitarians dictatorship but they're not doing it strong and directly they're very smooth corporate america very slick and slithery snake and before you know he have his wrapped himself around your throat and choke out all your life and then he gonna tell you you never read the fine print you, you agree, you signed it. This wicked, evil, demonic, wicked, seducing spirit. Second Timothy chapter three. We read it yesterday. Go back and check me out. This video is long because I'm, I'm bringing forth a point. When it comes to life, you got to make sure you're crystal clear about your def defining yourself. What do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Where you want to go with life? You have life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, food, clothes, and shelter, the necessity of life. Then you got food drive, sex drive, a drive for God. These are drive. Atheists will try to deny it, but the more he said there ain't no God is the more he argue and debate. That tells you, you're just fighting something that's inside of you. Please, people, wake up. I want to pray with those of you who are listening. You're honest to yourself and you're humble. And you'll appreciate the encouragement. Like I says, I come with edutainment, encouragement, upliftment to stir your nest, to wake you out your lethargy, apathy, mediocrity, and your indifference so you can be blessed. This is the moment I want to bless you by receiving the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the only one to the Father, the only. There ain't no other way. To come to father i never said so the book did i just he just anointed me to be a preacher and the anointing of the spirit of god is up on me and boy i can't help but to be this way that's how the anointing is it rests upon me so i must come to you if i don't do it then i'm in disobedient and i can't come around and trying to live like i'm some man of god I must come and say it. So I say to you, my blessed friend, my friend, my neighbor, you mankind, whatever your name is. If you hear this minister, this preaching, this teaching, this information. You want to make a decision to accept Jesus in your heart. He comes in your heart. You see, that's God's responsibility is to change your heart. And then after your heart is changed now, out of that beautiful, powerful change, the eternal life is in you. You, 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 you got to. Pro reprogram your soul, your thinking, and that's a process, day in, day out, year in, year out. And after a period of time, you notice you act different, you think different, and you start 
getting away from certain lifestyle. And God will see to it that everything you practice will come to pass in your life and you'll be blessed. Let me pray with you. Bow your head. Close your eyes. Just so this way you don't have no distraction around you. Now, if you're driving in your automobile, don't close your eyes. Keep it on the road, but just envision from the inside and says, Heavenly Father, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, the visible and the invisible, I come to you and I accept this offer that Jesus Christ, your son, he died at the cross, shed his blood, raised from the dead for my sins and justification, and he exalted in high and coming again. I believe, Jesus, you are the Son of God. Come in my heart and live. Make your life with me. Live with me. Come in my house. Go everywhere I go, and I and you will talk and teach me from your word how to live. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and praise God. Father, thank you for the, all the people on this broadcast this medium who obey and follow bless them in the name of jesus let them get up off of that seat and never be the same again in jesus name now we'll talk another time and then be blessed